here's the problem. You've been working on a project for days or even weeks perhaps and suddenly you come to open it afresh and you get an error message about missing ports. What's that all about? Well, it seems to occur after a project crash, after some updates. The last time this happened to me was only a few days ago and it was after Microsoft's monthly Windows 11 update. Go figure, as they say. Now, I don't know what causes this problem. I suspect it's some setting file somewhere gets corrupted or deleted. If anyone knows what's causing this, please do let me know in the comments. However it happens, I'll show you how to fix it. Now, if this has happened to you before, you may well know how to fix it. You may have fuddled your way through the process. It's not complicated, but it is a little bit involved sometimes. I am currently using Cubase and that's where the problem occurred and that is the program I'm going to use to show you how to fix it. If this problem occurs in other doors, I suspect the overall principle will be exactly the same, although obviously the settings and the dialog windows that I use in Cubase will be different. Now, unfortunately, I am not familiar with any other door, but if you have this problem in another door, hopefully you will be able to follow along the steps required to put this right and solve the problem if indeed you are having one. I'm on a Windows PC, but if this problem occurs on a Mac, I assume the same process will work there too. You can let me know in the comments if it does or does not. Now, I know the process might seem a little involved. That's because I am going to go through every single step so you know exactly what is going on at each stage of the process. At the end, I will give you a list of steps to go through so you can go straight for the juggler to fix the problem if you wish. But I do think it's good to know what the options are and how everything fits together. Right, let's get going. Yes, this is the missing ports dialog box. I call it an error message. It's more an information message, but it's not something you want to see. Now, if you've come across this before, you've probably worked out how to fix it. This happens to me every so often, maybe every few months, hopefully not that often, but when it does, sometimes I forget how to fix it. So this video is as much a reminder for me as it is for anyone else who has had this problem. Now, what you see here will differ depending on the interface and the inputs and outputs you have installed. This is a very simple output. I suspect most home studio musicians will have a stereo output and that's it. But you can do far more complicated ins and outs with Cubase. But anyway, we'll just look at this stereo output. As I said in the intro, I think this problem is caused by a corrupted or deleted file somewhere. So I could not duplicate exactly the pop-up box which occurs when this error happens. However, this is pretty close to what you will see. So as best as I could recreate the problem, I think this may just have showed a stereo output. It is shown the Steinberg ACO drivers, which are the drivers which I use now. Your system will differ. If we click on one of these, uh, there are no options to select another one. So that, that is absolutely fixed. Your system may differ, but this is fine for me because this is what I want. However, they are not assigned to a port and you can see it says not connected. So if we click on one of these, you should get a little pop-up and you may or may not see a port in this case, a speaker you can connect it to. That's good, you may think, and it may possibly be. But these are the real tech speakers, and these are the speakers which are connected to my computer. They are computer speakers. They are not connected to my audio interface. They are not the studio monitor speakers that I want. So I'll show you how to fix this. I just click on cancel or click OK, and Cubase will open. And hopefully you can hear this. But this is playing through my computer speakers, not the monitor speakers, which is, I think, what most of us want. So to fix this, we go up to Studio. You can try the first option, which is Audio Connections. We will have to use this sooner or later. Now, this is very similar to the error box, which popped up at the beginning. You can see that it is set up for stereo and it has my Steinberg ACO driver selected 
and also it has the speakers selected, the Realtek speakers, which I don't want. So maybe you can click on this and select the option that you do want, or that I do want, which is my one of the speakers, but it's not an option here. Now, depending on what's happened to your system, you may have the option to select the correct speakers. In my case, I don't. So we'll close this and go to Studio Setup. This is where you select all the inputs and outputs. And we need to go here, which is the audio system. And here you can select the ACO driver you want to use. Now you can see that now Cubase has recognized several drivers which apparently have been installed on my system. However, it already has the Steinberg driver, which is the one I want to use. So we don't have to do anything there. But what we do need to do, and perhaps this is not immediately obvious, but we need to go to the control panel. So having selected the correct ACO driver, in my case, the Steinberg driver, you then have to go back to the left and select it on the list. And then you get the properties for the driver. And here you select the control panel. And now at last we can see the cause of the problem. You can see that the output ports are set to the Realtek speakers, which are the computer speakers, not what I want. So there are two other options. One is the Dell speakers, which are the speakers built into my Dell monitor, which again, I don't want. But the last option is the one I do want. So I click on that to select it. Don't forget to click on the OK button. Now we're not quite finished yet. One more simple step, but that has set the Steinberg ACO driver to output to the audio interface and to the speakers. Now the speakers are called USB audio codec, which is a bit of a mouthful. Now you can rename them if you want, I do not rename them because when this problem occurs, there's a very good chance that they will default to their original USB audio codec name. So if I leave the name the same, I am more likely to remember it when this occurs in the future. But if you have a better memory than me, then you may want to change this name to something more sensible. So we'll click on OK. Now uh, select the track. So is this working? Well, you can see the meters are jumping up and down, but there's no sound coming out of anywhere. Why is that? Well, this is an easy fix, and you probably know what the problem is, but let's just go and sort this out. So we have to go back to Studio and Audio Settings. Here we are, and you will see that now everything has been disconnected. But all we have to do is to click on the drop down menu and select the ACO interface we want to use. And then you will see that the device port is set to the one you previously selected. In this case, the USB audio codec. Playing the keys, why is nothing happening? Well, well, when you change the sentence here, the ACO driver Cubase removes the focus from the track. Uh, but if we click on the track, Hurrah! At last, everything is working as it should. So uh, that probably doesn't sound any different because the monitors are at a low level. But now the sound is coming through my studio monitors. Turn this up. At last, so all is well with the world. Right. Now, I know that might seem a little bit complex and involved, but I've gone through every single step so you know exactly what's happening and what's going on. However, I will leave a list of the steps in the description so you can copy and paste them, save them as a document to your computer, just in case this happens to you. So on the one hand, I hope nobody else has this problem. On the other hand, if you do have this problem, I hope this helps you solve it quickly. Thank you for watching. I will see you again in the next video.